I'm Natasha Hausergo. I've been working on this fantastic residency down at Wallbridge Lock in Stroud, working in collaboration with Cotswold Canal Trust, who've cited this huge 13-foot piece of green oak, which was donated by um, Mark Hannes in Cranham. Beautiful piece of oak, uh, which sadly had come down in a storm. And the piece really has been inspired directly from working on site here. I've been on a low level scaffold platform right next to the lock and I wanted it to be a tall figurative piece to reference all the fantastic volunteers that have helped restore the canal and originally I guess the people that worked on it building it in the first place and it, the top crown like piece was inspired by the Daneway portal with its uh, turreted features and you can see I've got a mythical bird on the on the corner and then the face is on different levels which was directly in response to working at height above the lock and that whole idea of looking down with this huge drop um, the nose is shaped like the rudder of a southern trow and then the mouth has a hole through so that when people are on the bridge they can look through the mouth down the line of the canal and the neck is also taking an element of the paddle gear one of the little cogs the body is the wiggle of the Stroud navigation the sides of the canal shape are inspired by the dredging spoons um, when I went to uh, Gloucester Waterways Museum they've got a fabulous leather dredging spoon so they sort of create an arm going down the side of the canal the lower part, which is also sort of, uh, I suppose, inspired by the Coates portal, has got a little slither of light going through it. I saw a fantastic photograph in the visitor centre of the Coates portal with a, a, a glimmer of light. And so it's this idea that the um, canal tunnel will be dug out and cleared. And also that, that thing of light at the end of the tunnel as the project moves forward. On the other side of the carving is another face and this is um, kind of on the back of because the, the head as well is I see it loosely inspired by a southern trow boat uh, and on the back of it again is another nose which is loosely based on the keel that they sometimes used to put on a southern trow so they could go out to sea and the eyes are directly reflecting the aerial view from the bridge of the lock gates so the eyelids that are shaped in that kind of angular fashion and again you've got a hole through the eye and the mouth so that you can look through down the line of the canal. Hi, I've been um, a professional sculptor for 25 years and my absolute passion is residences, sort of special projects in schools. I've just done a fantastic project at Chosen Hill working with 20 children, their grandparents, so each child or grandparent had, had their own log of wood and then did a fully three-dimensional carving uh, and then they had an exhibition at Chosen Hill last Wednesday. And so really, I think for me to share my love of wood carving and particularly green wood carving, where you take um, a tree that sadly had to come down and you give it another life. And so it's that fantastic process of uh, stripping the bark and collaborating with the wood, this piece of wood that's uh, possibly 200 year, years old. It's, had, it's got its own life force and energy. And so I think it, it's, uh, it feels like a really kind of magical process carving and I'm, I'm not a chainsaw artist I am a hand carver so it's a very slow process like with this project here it's slowly evolved over two uh, two or three months just two days a week and it, that in that way you kind of have time to to think and each after each session I go back and do working drawings We just don't want anyone pulling them out. Well, well, this just... story, these are woodworm holes actually, so I had to drill them out and then put pegs in. So I've kind of killed two birds with one stone, which is great. Being able to get a bit more oil on here is wonderful. It's made a big difference.